All right, I just picked up this Husky three gallon, 120 PSI pancake compressor. Got it for about 60-ish bucks. Well, actually, I, I had a store credit from a refund, so technically it cost me nothing. So, <laughs> But this is not sponsored. Anyways, back to the compressor. Oh, mosquito. Get off me, mosquito. <laughs> Anyways, so the part number's right here. Well, actually, it's easy to read over here. It's got a two-year limited warranty. Um, whatever that is, 0.65 CFM, or I think it's 90 PSI constant, if I'm, if I'm reading that right. You know, oil-free pump. You know, it's like a few pounds. What it says on the box anywhere. I don't think so. But we're reading the ad, it wasn't, it wasn't too much. It's definitely not, it's not heavy. So, I bought this compressor because I'm gonna be doing a leak town test on an engine that I wanna buy right here. And I think it'd be a good, quick, you know, way, way, way to, easy way to test the engine. It's a cheap way too. Now, I've had a Husky air compressor, you know, 30 gallon that I've been using for probably about a decade or so. It probably needs a rebuild in the engine, but um, so far so good. I even run a line out to my workshop right there, which I made a video about the regulator I use out there, which I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, this is, you know, I'm happy with the compressor. This replaced a 20 year old Craftsman, so hopefully this goes for another 10 years. But I'll, I'll probably refresh it and rebuild the engine because they make kits online and so on, which, you know, you can check that out if you're interested. But anyways, back to the compressor. So. Got the compressor, I need to unbox it, hook it up. Um, I got this short whip line, which actually, short plug for these guys, not sponsored. I really like these Continental Air Lines. See right there for yourself. You can get these on Amazon and eBay for a pretty decent price. So if you don't mind, you know, waiting, I mean, they're, they're pretty good rated. I've had that one um, to my workshop right, right run outside in the winter and snow for years and it's no issues, so like those lines but back to this junk over here so you can see it here on the compressor <laughs> I believe it comes with the, the end right here but it doesn't come with much else I mean it's, it's, it's you know 60 bucks so I gotta get it you know get it all set up so I can use it to test and you know side rant if you're like me that's right. don't be like me and go with high flow lines because <laughs> then you're you can only get them online not local right here I got a high flow end Got three of them inside because I knew I was gonna have you know be needing them. I don't want to be you know, oh no I don't have it but still with the normal size you can see right here for yourself. I have to steal this one off this this air chuck for the compressor and then I'll put the high flow because I got my high flow on that. So I'm rambling. Let's get to unboxing this sucker. Okay, standard packaging. Actually, I expected it to be a little more packaged better, but we got instructions. No foam or you know star foam or nothing in the top, so I mean, that's kind of weird. Yep, you can see that that chuck right there. So let me pull it out here one sec. Let me show you. Oh, and there is some some foam in the box. You can see right here. Nice foam block right there, but yeah, I can probably use some more packaging. Okay, well, actually, I'm surprised that bag isn't all around it, but whatever. You have to excuse my table. My garage is just a, is just trashed. Whoa! Yeah, let's move to the back. <laughs> okay. This makes a better table back here. A little darker. But, you know, I'm not gonna drop it on the ground. It's got nice rubber foot feet. Bad lighting. One sec. It's got nice rubber feet on it. <laughs> and it won't scratch up your car. <laughs> not that I care about the paint of this thing. <laughs> So, yeah, right there. There's that, there's your handle, gauges, cord, and so on. Adverti kada. Por favor, yeah. Warning. <laughs> there we go, English. 
So, yep, uh, looks like there's a drain valve there. Emergency release or pressure release. Let's see, here. flip this around. That's it, so I guess I got to hooking it up. Oh, here's the ions, which are here, just a little, get that out, get out of my way. Just a little side rocker deal. That's cool. Not heavy at all. Nice and light. Yeah, I'm dumb. <sighs> Fortunately, I kept all of the fittings from my changeover. To the high flows. Do I have a male one in there? You. I think we're good there. I'll take the whole thing just in case. <laughs> Muy bien. Man, drop my stupid tape. <sighs> nice. Even though I, did, I didn't need or read the instructions, I did flip it open and there's this like quick startup guide, which is a bunch of little like, I guess, easy one, two, three pictures or whatever. There's a maintenance and troubleshooting in the center page. So whatever. And it's, it's just a compressor. I mean, it's not, you know, rocket science. Um, yeah, that, that fitting fit, no problem. It's got the quick release here, which I like. Those those are awesome. Um, Cause I mean, it used to be everything was, you know, you had to push it in. It was more pain about this, it's much easier. <laughs> but the cord, which of course that's not my way. The cord looks like about, uh, I don't know, five, six foot. I mean, I'll look at the instructions and caption it later, but it looks like about five, six foot. Got this nice little um, tie-up dealy, but I mean, I don't know why you need that because it's got the little thing on the side, so redundancy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and right here it does say whatever. So, <laughs> anyways, I can't fire it up tonight because I want to be a nice neighbor and it's late, so I'll have to test it out tomorrow with the compression tester on this engine. And we'll see how it works and if it can keep up and use it for what I want. Oh, and I like to point this out because I don't know how many times I put these on here. This one's a better example. And it's just more, it's tight in here. So I like these. Yeah, the lighting's not the greatest. These Stanley wrenches because they're nice, thin, low profile for tight areas. Because I mean, when you tighten this line up, like, yeah. Now right here, this is a bad example because you could fit two wrenches in there. But in the past, it's always been tight for me. So. I don't know, maybe it's just the cheaper lines because these ones aren't so bad. You can get a wider wrench, but I'm rambling. We'll pick this up tomorrow when we do. We try it out. Oh, and that's a little TV tray I got from Walmart for like a few bucks. So just notice this little Velcro strap, tie strap. It's kind of redundant because there's a little cable thing here, so it can clip on itself and hold. All right, so it's a new day. It's actually a little chilly this morning, surprisingly. <laughs> Anyways, let's fire this sucker up. See how loud it is. I'm, I'm sure it's loud because you know it's you know nine oil or whatever they call it, but they're all loud. But <laughs> let's find out. I mean, this camera mic's gonna drop, so you're not gonna be able to tell. But I'm sure it's loud. <laughs> Can still hear it from inside the house. I mean. It's loud, but it's not as loud as the, the, the larger 30 gallon. So, I mean, it's annoying in its own way. <laughs> All done. It's full. Lob, you know, I expected that. I think it's rated at, I want to say it said 80 decibels on the side or something like that, but I mean, it's still, it's, it's a different tone than the large compressor over there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's tolerable, and the only it's I already figured because it was the small three ounce size, it wouldn't take long to fill up. It probably took um, three or four minutes, it didn't take five minutes, it was le less than five minutes. So it fills up fast, but if you're using it constantly, 
you know, it is what it is. So let me set this up and we'll try it out. Okay, all set up. Got the tester hooked up and everything. I previously tested this rear cylinder and got 5% using that compressor. So we should get similar with this. I got all, of course, have to dial on this here in a second when I turn it on. And I fully expect that compressor to kick on because it means only three gallons. So here we go. Slowly crack the ball valve. Oh, engine's actually turning a bit. So I was set up for the other cylinder. Let me see here. Crank this up to 100. Now she's still turning a bit. Can't quite get 100. Well, I just let it fill up and I dialed in. I mean, I turned it back on because it appears to leak faster than this. Can the, the, the leak down on the cylinder, you know, it was showing 5% is leaking down faster than the little compressor can keep up. But it's good enough to get a test, I think, because we'll turn it on here. It's just filled it up and crack the valve open. Dial back up to 100. Back it off a little bit. See right there, we're holding about five or six percent, but it's dropping on the PSI. I crank it back up, it's not going to go, so it's only going to work. <laughs> Try this again. Crank it down a little bit. Yeah, it's only going to work momentarily when the compressor's off. Look at the compressor. Yeah, we're dropping air fast. It's already below 100. And it's full again. So it kind of works for what I want to use it for. Not ideal. But, I mean, that's not really what it's intended for, I guess. So, at no fault of its own. It doesn't really do ideally what I want it to do, but good enough for me to test the health, the health of an engine, just not you know only momentarily. So if it has higher leak down, I don't know because that's only five percent leak down. But still, if I'm looking at an engine and it has more than twenty percent, I probably don't want it. So I mean, I should hopefully be able to tell that real quick. But I don't really have an engine that has twenty percent leak down to, to show you. So I don't know. Well, let's see. I have to check in back with you after I test this, this engine. That I'm gonna buy. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So I decided to try at least one more cylinder before I go off to test that engine I want to buy. Now, I've confirmed that with both compressors 5% leak down. This front cylinder I know is like 55%. I'm not even gonna bother to try with this little dingy thing. But with my other compressor, which is over there, I decided to try this other cylinder. I tested it out and it held at 20%. So now I've already tried this with the little compressor and while we know it won't keep up with the 5%, definitely ain't going to keep up with 20%, but we want to know if it'll at least show us. So I've already turned it off so it won't kick on, but here's what I saw. Crack open the valve. It's already dropping. Didn't quite make it to 20%. And it wouldn't matter if it kicked on because it wouldn't keep up anyway. So, will it work for what I want? Eh, kinda. I mean, I think if it shows me, you know, that I can't get it to, to 20% or, you know, or less, maybe I don't want that engine. Or maybe I want to pay less for that engine. This is not ideal. That little compressor's, eh. I mean, it's a good compressor for some uses, not really my use, probably. So, I don't know. I guess I'll go test it out, the engine, and I'm still gonna go check it out, and I'll try this little compressor, and I'll let you know how it goes from there. Cause maybe I'll have to bring it back here and try it my compared to my big compressor, but that might not even be in this video. So. <laughs> Long story short, I didn't buy the engine. I didn't actually have to use the compressor, the little pancake compressor, as much as I thought I was going to either, because they last minute 
had a compressor, but their compressor was only set to about 100 PSI and it ran below that, so it still was not ideal for testing. And I didn't, I did need to use the pancake compressor to verify the results, you know, above 100 PSI, which it did that, and then I used theirs for the rest of the test. But you know, it was about 3% off from the pancake, which was close enough. Anyways, I do want to point out, if you're going to use this pancake or probably a similar one for a leak down test, you want to make sure you turn it up to the max. So I, tr I tried and I, I checked it at 100 PSI and it wasn't giving me a good leak down. Only when it was set to the max of 120 you know, PSI, which as I said, their compressor was set 100 and wasn't giving me great results. So. It works good enough. I mean, is it, is it is it great? Is it bad? It's eh. I mean, it's not ideal, but it'll get the job done. I mean, if I had to do it again, I would buy a better pancake that has probably higher PSI or a higher fill rate. I almost said flow rate, but fill rate, which is, I don't know what the technical term for that is with these. I mean, it's I'm not sure if it's. Here, let me see. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's that number right there or or what i mean but they'll have specs so you can look up for that i mean it would have worked for all eight cylinders but it would have been slower than using their compressor which was reading lower psi so anyways i don't want to ramble on too much good enough i mean yeah it it, it got the job done I was able to confirm the results similar to what I had back here. So, I hope you found this interesting, helpful, or something. Thanks for watching. Keep it real.